Well, I told you Kaiju 8 was going to be a bit different. This is not your standard shonen. All right, guys, Brent here back for Geek Variants. We cover all things Marvel, DC, Lord of the Rings, anime, gaming, Star Wars, and more. This time, Kaiju number eight, the man who became a Kaiju with finally a relatable hero to me. Because let's be honest here, our man Kafka, he's your everyday goofball at work where you can have any conversation about anything at any time. The dude smokes, the dude drinks, the dude has what a regular body type should probably be. He is as ordinary as ordinary gets. He is a part of the kaiju cleanup force. All he does, cut off monster body parts, which they later turn into some type of armor, some type of munition, because, you know, the sturdiness, the integrity of the kaiju is what everyone is terrified of, and they turn these into these special suits. These special, these special suits my goodness, go to people who are, you know, division captains or people who work for the Kaiju Defense Force, people like his childhood friend, Mina. And there's always a story of how two people turn out. Kafka is the one who believes in the story more than anything else. Mina's the one who's timid and shy. Over time, people's potential kind of turns into results. Mina capitalized on everything of Kai, if his dream overall, Kafka wanted to be the one to lead the charge against the Kaiju, get revenge for his city, and avenge his fallen gaming hero. Something we can all aspire to be, because let's be honest here, like, you ever play like a Tamagotchi game, you know you wanted vengeance for the fact that that thing died because you ignored it for five to ten minutes longer than what was necessary for it. So now you have to start over or buy a brand new one, God forbid. But Kafka Abino is someone who wants to be an everyday hero. He wants to be cool. He wants to be tough. He wants to be that guy who everyone looks up to, aspires to be, someone the people can believe in. But through life and how certain circumstances work out, ended up, you know, a 32-year-old janitor who just smokes, drinks, and kind of just hangs out in his free time. Nothing super extraordinary about him. Nothing unextraordinary about him. He's just... Middle of the road as middle of the road gets. And because he runs into Ichikawa, all of a sudden now his spark has been reignited. Ichikawa has a very, very stoic personality. But at the same time, he's not afraid to express his emotions. Sometimes animes create their stoic characters who can't express emotion, period. And when you want them to express emotion, the only thing they're capable of doing is yelling. Which I'm looking at you like directly, Sasuke. I, I just want that on record but at the same time Ichikawa has a great time expressing himself letting out his problems letting out his feelings and he's like look they just changed the age you just saved my life I believe you're someone who could potentially be a hero if you you know applied yourself actually you know tried to make something of who you are what you're about what you're gonna be and now we have them fighting a yoju and the way the kaiju are broken up is kaiju are very very high on the list and Daikaiju is also very high on us. A Yoju, not super strong, but as you can see, for ordinary civilians like Ichikawa and Kafka at the beginning, it's kind of a problem. It's something that that everyday civilian hopefully wouldn't have to deal with. You tell me I'm put in a situation where I have to go fight a Yoju, I'm doing the same thing Kafka's doing. You want to evacuate any and all civilians you can get, try and be hero as long as you can, and then eventually probably succumb because pe most people aren't going to be like Ichikawa and come right back and save your butt and then have, you know, your childhood friend, once again, Mina, show up because that girl just puts in that work. She is one of the strongest people within this universe from what you can see at the very, very beginning. She is everything that Kafka wishes he could be. Cool, strong, smart, and above all, a division captain. She is someone who is strong, fearless, and tougher than all nails. But you want to talk about why Kafka all of a sudden just had this moment. Whatever that was chose him. Just so we're all perfectly clear. Found you is the only phrase that is dropped by this little being, this little piece of creation. 
that could have been hanging out from the original kaiju that died. It could have been hanging out on the yoju that died. Either way, it knew Kafka. It knew who he was. It knew what he was about. It knew exactly where to find him. It knew how to get in the hospital without anybody or anything noticing. And then jump directly into his mouth. And next thing you know, we have our boy looking more like this. That being said, is this a blessing? Is this a curse? Stay tuned for next week because I have some great news for you. Kafka is going to reapply himself at life with a whole new otherworldly perspective that's going to put him in some interesting company. This anime does not disappoint. Be sure to check out Geek Variants by hitting that lovely red subscribe button or by hitting that like button. Help you find us a little bit more easy moving forward. I'm just saying, this is probably the most relatable hero I've seen in a long time. It's about time Shonen had someone above the age of 15 being a hero. I'm just saying.